Now, writing is quite lonely, and the amount of work we put in, we don't really get. We don't. It's not that we are hungry for appreciation. Right. Just the recognition that you know how much amount of effort and thought has gone into it. Yes. On the other hand, you know, I compare. See, I am a writer as well as a speaker. Yes. I, I thought that I'm a. I'm not a. I'm not particularly a great speaker, but I can see that many of my. I say I may prepare ten minutes for a one-hour class, and for a three hundred word article, I write every day on the Bhagavad Gita. A small three hundred word article. I've been doing this for the last ten years almost. So for that wow. one hour, Beautiful. for that for that one hour article, I for three hundred word article, I spend about an hour or so. Huh. Right. Uh, more than an hour daily, but it's the number of devotees who might appreciate a class, which I have really not prepared that much, as compared to an article which I have prepared so much. <laughs> yes, it, it is so. It becomes almost a, a little bit discouraging in writing. Of course, I <laughs> yes. have few devotees who do appreciate, but yes. how do we? How do you look at? Uh, the reciprocation for the effort that you put in writing where do you get that rasa or reciprocation yes there's an internal reciprocation and an external reciprocation so when i heard your very not just appreciative words but they were words of 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 deep uh, perception of what what i was doing and this is so it was not empty praise it was genuine appreciation sometimes devotees you know a devotee never accepts praise you know and we hear that vaishnavas do not like praise and you know what i don't like praise and when devotees come up to me and say oh prabhu that was a wonderful class thank you so much that was so beautiful it was one of the best classes i immediately interrupt them and say please tell me what was it in my class that moved you? Then the real conversation starts. That's true, yes. Okay. What actually did you get from the class? But those who just say, oh, no, I just, it was a wonderful class. I say, okay, go away. <laughs> I don't literally do that, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything to me. It's just empty praise. And sometimes I think devotees, they see senior Prabhupada disciple, Harvard PhD, I just go up and praise him. No, I, no, I don't like that. You know, I don't like that at all. To echo this, I also do the exact same thing. If somebody appreciates, I ask, what do you appreciate? And there has been two yeah. results of that. The two results, many devotees don't even come to appreciate. And those who come to appreciate, they know I have to come prepared with some specific <laughs> point. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, very good. That's very good. Yeah. So there is a difference between praising and appreciating. Appreciation is good. In fact, we Vaishnavas need to appreciate one another more. Not just writers. We're, you and I are writers and speakers and so on. But just in general, it's so important to appreciate one another. Mm. Not empty praise. I... Chaitanya Charanji, Jai Chaitanya Charanji, Jai Jai Chaitanya Charanji. I mean, come on. How much of that can you take? What do I really appreciate when you speak? What do I really appreciate when you write BTG articles? You know, what do I get? This, is, this then becomes the substance of Shravanam Kirtanam between us. And then we're lifted up into an, a new community of Vishnu Smarla. You and I get lifted up into Vishnu Sparnam, the, the Shravanam Kirtanam that we trade back and forth in dialogue, then lifts us up. It's a beautiful thing. This, these three foundational processes are the foundation of everything. So it's about appreciating, it's about sharing, it's about mutually enlightening one another. Bodhiyanta Parasparan, the verse you well know. Everyone knows that verse. Yes. 